Hello guys and welcome back to another Minecraft mod tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to be going over how to create your own creative tab in Minecraft 1.13. So let's get started. If you haven't seen the previous tutorials, the link in the description to the playlist. And if you haven't watched any Java, if you don't know anything about Java, then please watch the Java link um, to the playlist in the description about learning how to code Java so you fully understand everything that goes on in this video. So inside of our package, we're going to create a new class and this is going to be our creative tab. You can call this whatever you want. You can call this your creative tab or you can call it an item group. I'm going to call it an item group as that's what Forge wants us to call it. So tutorial item group. And this is going to extend item group. It wants to take in a string label, label being the name of this um, item group. So you can just change, delete that um, thing from the constructor and give it the label um, tutorial. That is the name of this um, item group. Give it a save. Then you can add the un unimplemented methods by hovering over this. And it wants to create an icon. This is the icon for your creative tab. So you can return um, a new item stack for an item, just do item list dot um, tutorial item. For a block, you can just do item dot block to item dot get block list dot tutorial block so this converts your um, block into an item and then sets it as the icon for me I'm going to set it as my item though and there we are you've created your item group class at least we now need to declare it inside of our main class so public static final Um, item group tutorial is equal to a new tutorial item group and then down here inside of your items you can change your item group dot misc to um, tutorial and then that will set all of your items and blocks to be inside of your own custom creative tab. Now we've got this um, registered in our game. We need to go into our lang file to make sure it comes out as named correctly. So open up your lang file. You can have um, item group dot tutorial, just like that with a capital G, colon, and then the name that you want to show up in the game, tutorial item group or whatever you want to name it yourself. We can now run the game using our function that we created in the second episode, or if you are running a later version, you should just be able to run it using the Eclipse Run button. As you can see here, there's now two pages of creative tabs. We can go up to the right, and we have our tutorial item group, and we have our tutorial item and our tutorial block inside of it. So if you have enjoyed this video or found it useful, Please leave a like down below and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. My name's been Harry, and goodbye.